Hey guys, we're doing an inner tie rod, Chevy Silverado. This is pretty much all the tools you're gonna need right here. Not much. A little wire brush to clean off some crud that I had on there. Maybe we'll get a closer look. Let's see, that's looking pretty good. All right. First things first, take your tire off seven eighths or 22 millimeter and those lug nuts. All right, big old crescent wrench. I got my wheel cut all the way to the left. Put it right on the nut behind the inner tie rod and crack that free. That was the first thing I did. Doesn't have to be, but that's what I did. Here's your new inner tie rod. You can see there's a big nut on, on the back of it. That's what I cracked free. Next thing I cracked free is our locking nut here. That is a 22 millimeter. So you're gonna turn it clockwise so that it goes back and just get it cracked free. Next thing we got is a 21 millimeter on the tie rod. Right there. And we're gonna need a hammer. We take this hammer right to the steering knuckle. see it pop down at all apparently i loosened it way before that now we're going to count the threads that come off or how many turns we're going to go slow towards the end that's 20. about 24 and a half all right we cracked that free is it gonna spin off for us no it's not so put our big wrench on the back there it's about an inch and a half if you have one of those wrenches closest I had was an inch and three-eighths I don't have anything in between Looks like I gotta turn the wrench the other way. So I'm running out of room. Ooh, this one's a stiff one. And on the back of that wrench to crack it free, I had a little pipe. It's kind of like bent, opens up. Oh, I like that pipe. So what we're gonna do is just get her done. Keep her spinning. This one's on there good. It's just awkward. You got the sway bar in the way. If I had a wrench that was the right size for that, I'd be able to jump on it a lot easier. Boots in the way a little bit on this one. But she's coming off. Knuckle busted. Oh yeah, she's tight all the way on there. Starting to loosen up. I'm gonna be careful not to bust my knuckle. Keep on coming close. Smashing my finger. Yeah, there's definitely play you can go in and out with this inner tie rod.
Uh, I think my wrench opened up on me a little bit. Tighten it back up. This is literally the hardest part of the job right here. get it with my hand. She's off. There was Loctite on there. There's supposed to be. And this is just wiggling all over the place. It's trash. All right. We got a premium lifetime warranty inner tie rod. Came with a package of Loctite. Idea to clean up those threads if you wanted to install faster. It's pretty clean in there. I think it was just the Loctite fighting us the whole way out. So, where's my cutter? I just had my cutter right here. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, let's snip the tip off of here. There's a razor blade we can use. Really dull razor blade. All right, we got our new inner tie rod. We're gonna squeeze a little bit of Loctite on those threads. They gave me blue thread locker, that'll work. Looks like red came out of there. All right, line her up nice and straight, no cross threading. No cross threaders allowed. We wanna make sure that our new inner tie rod is the same length. As our old inner tie rod, sometimes they can be a little different lengths, but this one is the same length as that one. They're perfect. And we could thread her pretty much all the way on by hand and just get that final little torque with the wrench. and tight. There we go. Alright, now we're going to put our outer tie rod back on. Good idea to change both of them, if not all four at the same time. This one feels pretty tight. Pretty good still. It's got a little move. There we go. Good idea to put some grease in those threads too. A little dabaroo in there. If you ever have to take this back off, it just makes it so much easier. I'm just gonna put it on the threads of the uh, inner tie rod. All right, same amount of threads that came off. Our tie rod was upwards.
Bada boom. Count your threads going in. Pop this guy back up in there. Grab our nut. Still in our socket. And then it just went flying off. There it is. your tie rod will spin inside there if it's loose at all a lot of times the brand new ones don't but sometimes even brand new ones do especially if you got a, a locking nut like this one so I had to keep on pressing the trigger to get it that nut to tighten up you know what I'm saying so uh, if your tie rod just spins the end of this tie rod is a 10 millimeter and you can put a 21 wrench I love a ratcheting wrench on here and just Loop, tighten the wrench while the 10 millimeter holds the stud and ball in place. So you tighten them if they keep spinning. All right, so I'm going to finish off my torque with a ratchet on this nut. All right, so this is tight. Now we got to tighten up our retaining nut here, and that's going to be lefty, lefty loosey to tighten this up because we're backing into the outer tie rod. There we go. And uh, we got a grease gun here. We're going to grease our grease cert right up in here. Give this outer tie rod another shot of grease just for funsies. That's how you replace the inner tie rod. Um, do all four. That's the best way to go. And then take her to the alignment shop. Because, you know, anytime you replace the suspension, get her aligned. And that's it, guys. Good times. Catch you later. Have a great day.